There's this misconception that beavers and salmon are enemies, but they're really in-stream allies. You know, by having beavers building these dams, they're creating deep cold water pools where, you know, a fish that's as sensitive as a salmon can find refuge in the summertime. So these salmon, while they may have to jump over a dam to get upstream, they're still getting so many more benefits, such as the cold water, uh, just having water available to them throughout the summer. Uh, and a whole host of other ecosystem services that these animals provide. Throughout history, millennia, beavers and salmon have coexisted together, and so they'll continue to do so on the landscape. Beaver dams are really incredible at cooling the water. When you're looking at a beaver dam, you'll see a little trickle going over, but that's not all the water that is passing beyond that beaver dam. When you have your pond, all that water is kind of stopped and stagnant. And maybe it has a little bit of flow, but not much. And what'll happen is that water will infiltrate into the stream bed, go beneath the dam and actually cool as it travels downstream. And then it'll come back up from underneath the dam and be colder. And there are some really interesting studies that have measured water temperature entering a beaver pond and leaving a beaver pond and seeing that there was a cooling effect. We get calls about nuisance beavers in the Wenatchee Valley. We'll go assess the situation, uh, try to do some on-site mitigation, but when those techniques don't work, we'll trap and relocate beavers back onto public land so that they can provide benefits for trout and salmon. And we'll go up into Wenatchee National Forest, find sites that are suitable for beavers, but also sites that could use help from beavers. You know, maybe their streams are incised and there's a lot of erosion, or, you know, they need some ponds so that fish can have a habitat in the summertime. Or maybe they're even higher in the watershed, so when the beavers build their dams, they're going to have this trickle-down effect with cold water and also with the beavers themselves, creating more beavers down the watershed to create more of this habitat. We partner with the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service here at the Leavenworth National Fish Hatchery, and we'll use one of their old Foster Lucas salmon raceways to house our beavers. Right now we only have two, but throughout the summer we've trapped eight beavers. Um, we keep the beavers for about a couple weeks and we've been doing this work uh, since about the middle of, uh, middle of May, but the Trout Unlimited Beaver Project has been around since 2018. And so the whole goal is to help to keep more beavers on the landscape while also providing this benefit for the fish in the ecosystem.